Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the Elementor Media Carousal widget. Using the Elementor Media Carousal widget, you can use the combination of images and videos in a carousal. Let me show you an example of the carousal that I have created using the Elementor Media Carousal. This is the basic carousal that I have created and here you will see a combination of images and videos. This is the image and this is the video. Again, I have an image here, then a video and then image. You can also create hover effect just like this. If I click on this video, it will open the video and it will start playing the video in the carousal in the light box. So this is the first example. You can customize it. You can change the number of slides to show. If you want to show only one slide, you can do that also. And this is the second slideshow layout. You will see the slides at the bottom. If I click on arrow, it will go to the next slide. This is video that we have image. Then again, we have video. If I click on this video, it will start playing the video. At the bottom, you will see the slides to be shown next. You can select the slide also. And this is the third layout called as cover flow. It is also a combination of images and videos. So let's see how we can use the Elementor Media Carousal and create a carousal or the slideshow using images and videos. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin on this website. Now I'm going to add the Elementor Media Carousal widget. So click on the plus sign and create a new section here. Click on plus sign again and search for Media Carousal or you can go to this Pro section and under the Pro section you will see Media Carousal. Drag it and drop it here. So this widget is a part of Elementor Pro plugin. So you will see three images section there and in the left hand panel you will see the settings for this carousal. You will see five different items are already created there. Let's go to the first item and you will see the option type it will be image or the video. So I'm going to start with the image. So click on the choose image option and I'm going to select some images here. I have some demo images which are already uploaded. This is the name of the image and this is the title of the image. So I'm going to change the title so that we can use that title as an overlay of that image. Add a title, let's say G1. Whatever title you want for that image, you can add the title. Click select. So this is the first image. Let's go to the third item and set up an image for the third one. Let's add the title also. Let's, let's say it is G2. And let's go to the fifth item, select a new image there. Let's add a title, let's say office. Select it. So we have got three images here, first, third and fifth. Now let's go to the second item and I want to add a video for this second item. So I'm going to change the type to video. And here you need to enter the link to your video. It can be YouTube or a Vimeo video link. So I'm going to add one YouTube video link here. Okay, now you can see that this is the second item and it shows the icon of the video. However, it does not show any thumbnail for this video. We need to add the thumbnail manually. We will do it later. Let's go to the fourth one and let's change it to video and add the URL of the video. All right, so we have got five different options. If you want to add more items, you can simply click on add item. Let's change it to video and add the link of the video. So we have got six items there. I'm going to click on publish and let's see how does this look. View page. And this is how it will look. The first item, then second item, the third item. It does not show any thumbnail. However, if I click on it, it will start playing the video. All right, so this is the basic carousal. Now let's go to the page again and we are going to add the thumbnail. Let's go to the second one. And for the thumbnail, you can simply click on this image and add the thumbnail. So I'm going to add the thumbnail. I have already uploaded the thumbnail. 
So I'm going to select the thumbnail. This is for the second one. Let's go to the fourth one. Select the thumbnail for the fourth item. And let's go to the last one. Select the thumbnail for the sixth item. Let's publish it. Let's go back. Let's refresh it. Now you will see the thumbnail for the video. So you will need to add the thumbnail manually for each video. So you will see a combination of the images and the videos in the carousal. Here you will see the arrow and here you will see the dots. So if I click on it, it will move the slide by one. Okay, now let's go to the settings here. At the bottom, you will see the effect. Currently it is set to slide. If I change it to fade, you will see another effect here. So it will be only single slide per view. And the third one is cube. It is again going to show only one slide. You can change the height if you want this setting. You can change the height and this is how it will look. And you can also change the width. Width will be 100%. This one also looks good. So this is the cube effect and this is the fade effect. And this is the slide effect. You will see the slide effect here. Now for the slide, we have multiple settings. Slides per view. How many slides do you want to show per view? So if I click on one, it will show only one slide per view. And then if I want to see the next slide, I can click on the arrow. You can change the slide per view to number two. And you will see two slides per view. How many slides do you want to scroll when someone clicks on this arrow? Let's change it to number two. So if I click on this arrow, it is going to scroll two slides. Let's change the view three per view. Maximum is 10. Height again, you can change the height. You can change the height here. Currently it is set to pixel. If you want, you can change it to EM, REM or viewpoint height. If I change it to viewpoint height, and let's make it 100, then it will cover the entire height of the window. If I make it 50, then it will cover 50% of the height. So let's change it to pixel and let's make it, let's say 400 pixel. And this is the width, 100% will be the width. Okay, now if I go down, you will see additional settings. This is for the arrows. You will see the arrows here. Do you want to show the arrow? If you do not want to show the arrow, you can simply hide it. And pagination will be dots, fraction or progress. Currently it is set to dots. You will see the dots here. You can also select fraction. It will show one out of three or you can select progress. So I'm going to change it to dots. This is the transition duration. Autoplay, if you do not want the slide to autoplay, you can simply disable it or you can enable it. Auto play speed is 5000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. So after five seconds, it is going to scroll the slide automatically. Infinite loop, it is going to keep on scrolling the slides. Pause on hover is enabled. So if someone move the cursor on the slide, it is going to pause the slide. Pause on interaction. If I click on it, it will pause the slide. Overlay, currently it is set to none. If I move the cursor, there is no overlay. However, you can change the overlay. Let's select text. And now you will see the title that we added for each image. So it is going to show the title. Here we have different options also. If you add caption, then it will show the caption. If you add description for the image, it is going to show the description. For the images, we have added titles. So it is going to show the title. Animation is fade or slide up. Let's change it to slide up. And you will see the animation for the hover effect. Right, so this one looks good. So I'm going to keep it as it is. Image resolution. If I change the image resolution to 150 by 150, it is going to pixelate the image and that does not look good. So you can select the proper image resolution. I'm going to select full. So it will show the full image resolution. The image fit is cover. You can change it to contain or auto. I think cover looks good. So I'm going to keep it cover. Lazy load is to improve the performance of the page. Let's click on publish here. And let's go to page, refresh it. 
Okay, now this is how it looks. If I move the cursor, you will see the hover effect. And it is going to pause the slide if I move the cursor on it. Okay, now after five seconds, it is going to start scrolling automatically. Okay, now let's go to style settings here. From here, you can change the style settings of this browser. Space between images is 10, background color. If you want to add background color, you can also add background color. That will be the background color for the image. So it's not going to show it if you have the cover option selected. Border width, if you want to add border, you can also add border to each image. You will see some border is added there. This is the background color. This is the border radius. You can also change the border radius. You will see some effect here. There is a radius around the corner. Border color, you can change the border color. Now we have changed the border color here. Padding, if you want to add padding, you can add padding. Let's add five pixel padding and you will see this background color is there. If I change the padding, you will see this is the background color around this image. If I change it, you will see the effect there. Okay, you will see it here. This is because we have the padding here. Navigation, this is for the arrows. Currently, the size of the arrow is 20 pixel. You can change the size and the color of the arrow. Then pagination, this is the pagination outside the carousal or you can change it to inside. You will see it inside. Let's change the size also. And let's change the color. This is the active color and this is for the normal color. Play icon. You will see the play icon for each video. You can change the color for the play icon. You will see the change in the color. You can also change the size of the play icon. Right? You can also add shadow effect for the image. Then we have overlay. This is current overlay color. You can change the overlay color. Let's change it to this one. All right, and let's change the opacity also. Let's change the color, let's make it blue. All right, so this is the overlay color. Then you can change the text color as well as the typography for this text. Then we have light box. You can change the light box color. If I click on this video, it is going to open the light box and you can change the color for the light box. Let's change the color. Let's use this one and you will see the change here. You can also add some opacity just like this. Okay, from here you can change the light box settings. Okay, let's close it and let's publish it. Let's go back and refresh it. Okay, you will see the changes here. All right, now let's duplicate this one. I'm going to duplicate this entire container. And let's select this carousal and let's change the skin. Currently it is set to carousal. There is another skin, slideshow. So this is the slideshow now. You will see a slideshow at the, if I want to see this one, I can simply click on this one and you will see it here. So this is a slideshow. And for the slideshow, we have different effects again. This is the fade or you can select cube. Slides per view can be three or four. You will see it here. These are the slides per view. If I change it to three, you will see three slides per view here. And this is the ratio of the slide. You can also change the ratio 16 by 9 you will see the changes here and these are the basic additional settings all right if you want you can change the style settings now let's duplicate it again and let's go to the third carousal and you will see another option here that is cover flow and if i select it you will see a new layout of the cover flow This one also looks good. You can adjust the height and the width. Currently it is set to 400. You can make changes. And again, we have some additional settings here. Let's publish it. 
refresh it. So you will see we have three different layouts here. This is the basic carousal and this is the slideshow and below that we have the cover flow. So if you want to use the combination of images and videos in a carousal, you can use the Elementor Media Carousal. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.